Welcome back. She is known for her fabulous desserts, but today she's gone and changed things up on us. Linda Hunt from Sweetie Licious Bakery Cafe in DeWitt and Grand Rapids Downtown Market is here to show us how to make potato soup. And does it ever smell good in here? Can you? I wish they could smell it. That's yeah. rosemary. Is and that a little and, so and a little bit of wine. Oh, Yay! God. <laughs> um, this is one of the best. It's a wonderful recipe. It's foolproof, and it's on you guys' uh, website. Good. Um, it was my mom's, so I'm gonna let's get started and okay. I'll tell the little story. So I actually had to get up like at 3 a.m. Not and quite. Start. There. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> no, I know. No, but it was early. So we have um, potatoes and garlic and onion in there. Okay. And we have some leeks as well. Quite yes. a few leeks. So we're well, going to put... What are you pouring in? <laughs> that was supposed to be a quarter cup. I don't know quite <laughs> that. Bad. So, what is um, that? What kind of wine did you put oh, in there? Oh, can you stand that? It's darling. It's, ooh la la. How cute is it with our brand and sweetie... I mean, it's so sweetie delicious. Yeah, it's a Chardonnay though. I need to make a sweetie delicious wine, I think. A dessert wine. Ooh, that would be good. Okay, so we've got wine in there and then this is our chicken stock. Okay. Not chicken broth because it's richer and has all the wonderful flavors in it. Yes. So you guys need to go that extra mile and, and get that. Okay. So, um, so we've simmered the potatoes and the garlic and the leeks. And these are leeks. So if you don't know what a leek is. It's bigger than a green onion. It's <laughs> it looks like, like a, a big green onion, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But yeah, um, it's a little more milder. It's in, the, it's in the onion and garlic family. Yeah. So it adds a lot of texture to the soup, mm -hmm. which is lovely. Good. Um, and then rosemary. And are you guys, I mean, rosemary to me is like, Lovely. It is lovely. It makes me want to break into song, but I'll hold back. <laughs> do you know what it means? Rosemary? It means friendship. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I love yes. it. Let's I put it in our soup <laughs> then. Come on. My <laughs> dear, dear cooking, baking friend. Yes. Okay. So that's going to simmer for a while. Okay. And then we're going to put our cream in. Okay. Oh, okay. Yumptious. And, um, and you got to do the heavy cream because that's going to, it's our butter and that richens it. Yeah. So, um, this is going to be on, and this is what my mom used to do. So we had potato soup, so we'd all go sledding or ice skating or all those fun things. And then... Um, this would be on the back burner. This would be on the... Just all day long. Mm. And, um, and it was wonderful, but it just like just a little bit of flavor for me. <gasps> mom! <laughs> so as time okay. went on, we started adding things. <laughs> okay. So Gouda cheese Ooh. Um, really richens us up. And do you add it at the end or while it's boiling all um, day? Not at the end. Very, okay. very good point. Okay. Which is in the recipe, but yes, because okay. then, um, and same with the cream toward the end. Yes. But you're boiling, and you can just turn it off, turn yeah. it back on, simmer, and be sure to scrape it a lot. Yeah. But um, so soup, and then you can when it's done over here. Let me yes. grab over here. How good. much time do we have? I have no oh, clue. I don't know. <laughs> Couple minutes. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like. So you it's see the leaf, and yeah. no, and wait till you taste it, honey. <laughs> so um, and we have some for the whole, all the camera guys. You guys, you oh, know I treat you well. When you I know, them, you know, I know it. Okay, <laughs> so you can do this. Oh, and then put a, little a little bit of green onion and then some bacon if you need a little bit of protein and it's maple bacon. And then wow. always serve like when we do soups at home on Sundays, cheese, pears, apples. And then some homemade muffins. These are all from the shop. This is from um, Aperitivo at the downtown market. Best cheese place. Is it all cheese? Or oh, is it like... wine too. Oh, wow. Um, and just delicious. They have all sorts of different things. And then muffins from the downtown market. If Gotta you guys haven't that. been to the downtown market. And then pie for dessert. And National Pie Day is coming up. It's coming next Thursday. Um, so if we're, I'm supposed to be in some big cities, I'm supposed to either be in New York or Chicago or Detroit. Really, so how be, fun know, to me, celebrate yeah, Pie Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What will you be doing in those big cities? Or I'll be doing them? this. Oh, you'll be cooking like this? I will, I will. And we'll be um, celebrating at both shops. Um, free slices of pie, and you need to take oh. pie home on the National Pie Day and be it's eating true. it, don't we, guys? It's true. But you got to try this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you brought books, too, because you, like, set the whole scene with a pot well, of soup on the I stove. Do. You can do all I sorts do. of good I do, and stuff. look at these cute little sweaters. But the point is, on Sundays, this is a day of rest, you all. So you need to either, like, go skating, sledding, take your dog out. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my um, And read. I have David Copperfield and some Ernest Hemingway there. Get the love classics it. out. Hans Brinker and the Silver Skates. Oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> you have a tobogganing, really good tobogganing run here, too, in Grand Rapids. Where's and that? Then, I don't know. Oh, I just well, we heard about it. it. We have. So, yeah. so then you go to the market and you grab some pie or some muffins and then you make the soup. What a I wonderful day. It's delicious, you guys. 
We put the recipe for it on our website. Go to WZZM13.com. Click on Take 5 Recipes. As always, you've outdone yourself. Oh, and she's you. willing to use my spoon. Up next, <laughs> find out why the young Americans friends, are friends. spending time in West Michigan.